Hey everyone, today I'm excited to share my thoughts on the Meze 109 Pro headphones. These little wonders have been making waves in the headphone community for the past year for a number of reasons. And after spending some quality time with them, I'm thrilled to share my experiences with you as well. And just to make things clear, Apo sent these out for review, but there's no hidden handshakes. All thoughts and opinions are my own. Let's start with the design. Meze has a knack for crafting stunning headphones, and the 109 Pro is no exception. When you look at these, you can instantly feel someone really cared about the design here. The symmetry, the lines, the materials, and the build quality in general feel really premium. The use of high quality materials not only makes them durable, but also comfortable for long listening sessions. One disadvantage of some dynamic driver headphones is the weight they carry, but due to this self-adjusting headband design that automatically adjusts to your fit, they literally feel pretty much weightless. Every ounce seems to be distributed effortlessly. You don't feel as if there's something pressing down on your head, it's just a gentle pressure kind of encompassing the entire top of your head altogether, really. The design is what helps these achieve the looks as well. Really no need for extra padding on the headband at all. And when you look closely at this, the headband design and even the general construction altogether, you can see all the hardware holding each detailed piece together. I doubt Apos would appreciate it as they graciously sent these out for review today, but I could have these completely stripped down in a matter of minutes which would lead you to believe this design would be simple to repair if you do come across some damage during your ownership. The blend of materials of black walnut for the cups, copper zinc alloy and CNC aluminum for the diaphragm, steel and vegan leather everywhere else. It's really a good look here, almost luxurious as we would expect though, coming in at this price range. But I honestly feel like Meze does it a little bit better. The walnut used in the cups even comes with a certificate of origin, only being harvested from trees that have reached their end of life. The dynamic driver encased in these is an in-house creation of Meze, a dual composite diaphragm composed of a combination of beryllium coated polymer and a cellulose carbon fiber composite. They really nailed it here. It's a risk to put something together like this in-house, but these come across really well-mannered in the right spots and dynamic everywhere else you need it to. But let's get to the good stuff here, the sound. The 109 Pro headphones pack a punch when it comes to audio quality. The sound signature is balanced and detailed, offering a wide soundstage that really makes you feel like you're right in the middle of the music. It's not the same thing as something like a good two-channel setup when you think about soundstage and imaging, but as far as headphones go, it pushes a lot of boundaries out. And now let's take a look at the bass, mids, and treble. Some important notables here. Hello, Mr. Quackendall. We're trying to reach you about your car warranty. How about no? Or how about this one that hits home on this channel? Your spouse starts getting ads for all the things you shop for online, like that expensive set of speakers. And it doesn't stop here. A quick Google can turn up all sorts of private information from your address to your phone number. Do you know what a data broker is? It's a business that aggregates information from a variety of sources, processes it, and then prepares to sell it to other organizations with the primary purpose of targeted marketing. In all likelihood, they know your birthday, your religion, your income, your address, your shopping habits, plus much, much more. I personally don't like the idea of random people, companies, or even hackers having this type of information about my personal data. This is where Aura can help. It will automatically send removal requests on your behalf during the free 14-day trial. Really nothing to lose here, it's a great deal. Like I mentioned, Aura is offering a free two weeks with their service, linked in my description. They will provide real-time alerts on your credit, like someone attempting to open up a new credit card. Could also cut down on those robocalls. I was blocking these what seemed like constantly before. Since cleaning up my presence online, it really seems like the numbers have fell off. Even a VPN that allows you to stay anonymous, keeping your browsing history and personal information safe and encrypted. Virus, malware, and spyware protection on your computer, as well as your mobile device. Even a couple extra features like a password manager that can securely keep all of your information in one place. Aura even helps to manage what your kids can do on their devices. Restrict apps, screen time, put limits on it, provide windows of use. Take your personal data back. Aura is gonna give my viewers a risk-free 14-day trial with my link, https colon slash slash aura.com slash koikendall. It's also linked in the description below. Put your information in and see what comes up. Slow down those robocalls and all these people trying to steal your identity and simply worry less. Now let's get back to the video. The bass on the 109 Pro is punchy without being overpowering. You get the appropriate amount of bass out of these. It gives you all you need, but at no point does it become overstated or even overstepping. 
These are not a bass head headphone. If I was pressed to describe it in three words, it'd probably be something like clean, fast, and punchy. I can note that although these are not the bass head's dream, they do take EQ well. The drivers are certainly capable if you're looking to boost within that range. The mids, they'll invite you in, offer you a drink, and then after some time, can turn into just a touch in your face. But it's not over the top. These drivers just have that highly technical sound. It's natural with great timbre, resolution, and instrument separation. Just let it be known, it's not warm, as some reviewers have stated. I actually have no idea where they're coming up with some of this. This is more of a technical headphone, and it really excels at it. In fact, it's downright impressive. But make no mistake, if you're shopping warm, this isn't it. The highs are crisp and clear. Whether you're into rock, classical, or EDM, these headphones deliver a captivating listening experience. A lot of great detail retrieval here. There is a little bit more bite and shine here. This follows the same considerations as the mid-range. It's more of a forward sound, but it's done with intention. The frequency ranges here are well extended and carry all the great detail and articulation. It's one of those where a properly recorded track is like, it's a wow experience. Details and nuances come across in a new light, helping you to appreciate the track even more. But this generally comes into the territory of poorly recorded tracks, really sound like poorly recorded tracks. This goes the same with speakers in general. The greater the detail retrieval, the more likely you are to pick up on some of the issues. This is an area to consider if you're shopping these. I made some critical remarks about the forward leaning sound, but make no mistake, these do sound fantastic and have the characteristics of a very good and technical sounding headphone. I just want you to know what you're getting into as well. Not a warm sound here, instead a very resolving, and I guess you could say high-end type sound that excels at pulling everything out of the recording. Driving these is somewhat easy to highlight with an impedance of 40 ohms and a sensitivity of 112 dB. You'll drive these with pretty much anything that has a headphone jack, phones, computers, whatever, honestly. It's one of the things to consider if you're shopping these. A lot of headphones in this price range are more of a can be powered with a phone, but it's not really recommended generally with the requirement of a desktop amp to get the most out of your purchase. The 109 Pros still benefit from the dedicated rig, but the performance jump won't be nearly as noticeable as the difficult to drive varieties. So you might end up spending a substantial amount of money on the headphones themselves, but end up saving a lot either running them direct out of your phone or computer, or what I would suggest, just a simple dedicated amp. I have these paired up with the new Midgard amp. It puts out way beyond the 109 Pros wattage requirements, Sounds great, but not completely necessary. Another impressive aspect is their portability. They come with a sturdy, hard carrying case, making it convenient to take them really anywhere without worrying about damaging them. Everything about this headphone comes across as quality. I've yet to look at anything and think, well, oh, that's an afterthought. Even when you look at this hard shell case, the shape, the emblem, the zipper, the lining, it's all just a high quality delivery here that makes you feel good about the product. I guess as Deanne Sanders once said, if you look good, you feel good, and if you feel good, you play good. Inside the carrying case, you'll find an accessory pouch with a 6.3 millimeter jack adapter and two cables, both 3.5 millimeter. One shorter, which is around four to five feet, and there's a long one that comes in, I think, close to 10 feet. The cable quality is fine. It's a rubber soft feel. It doesn't tangle very easily, but it does have a bit of recoil that takes a bit of taming at your desk. If anything, it feels like it would last and there's plenty of upgrades for people out there if you're inclined to that sort of thing. Comfort wise, like I mentioned earlier, Meze has nailed it. The ear cups are plush and provide a comfortable fit that doesn't cause fatigue during extended use. I never had the oven ear feeling that you can get when it feels like your ears are on fire. There's good breathability. These might be something you could play around with as well if you wanted to alter that bass presentation. A more dense cup may increase that low frequency bump without the addition of EQ. Let's cover a quick set of pros and cons and then wrap this one up. Pros, the quality and just design in general is top notch here. Think best in class type of build. The blend of materials and construction is the whole package. The drivers on these produce a sound of precision, detail, and refinement. The in-house maze creation works the entire frequency chart with ease. No muddiness, a technical masterpiece, really. These are so easy to drive, too. Almost no worries here. Power them with whatever you want to get the vast majority of the performance, which is really nice, as I would generally suggest spend the most on the endpoint, like the speaker or the headphone, in this example over the amp. And finally, just the entire package. The headphones with all the detail and well-thought-out design, the case, the packaging, Really, it all comes together as a really nice polished product. As for the cons, I mentioned it earlier, these are a detail-driven set, not warm, but not overly clinical either. 
just know what your preference is. These will pull everything out of your music, depending on what you're coming from. These are likely the kind of sound that has you thinking, I don't think I ever heard that before. The bass is mentioned here, but in my honest opinion, it sounds perfectly fine. I just want it known you shouldn't expect skull-shaking bass. It's a clean and dynamic delivery that I think would be best described as a accurate read on the content. Wrapping it up, I think the 109 Pros are a fantastic option for both audiophiles and casual listeners. Exceptional sound quality and comfort, a complete package. If you're looking for a set of headphones to deliver an effortless listen without compromises on design and quality, these might be the set for you. I hope you found today's review helpful or at least interesting. Please like and subscribe so we can grow this channel together. It certainly takes a village to make this all work. Take care and I'll talk to you soon. Later.